Do you ever feel as though you wanted someone to come and save you? Well, the story I'm going to tell you today happened when I was a little boy. And the response from my dad was an unexpected one. The other night as I was trying to get to sleep, a memory came back into my mind, which has played a huge part in making me the man that I am. At the time, it wasn't what I wanted to hear, but it put me in good stead for the future. I hadn't thought about it for a couple of years, and it hadn't really made that much impression on me until the other night. I was five or six at the time, playing on the beach behind our arcade at Burnham-on-Sea. I had a bucket and spade, and I was digging a hole, as you do. A much bigger boy came over to me, punched me a few times, and chased me away. I ran back to the arcade to my dad and was crying as I told him what had happened. What he said at this time has greatly influenced the man that I became. I can't remember the exact words he said, but basically he made me go back and fight the bigger boy and stand up to him. Dad made me point the boy out and then he said something to me that stayed with me throughout my life. His words went like this. Don't come crying to me that someone's punched you. There won't always be someone to sort things out for you. You have to stand your ground no matter how big they are. If you have any comments to make on the video, please let me know down there. And if you could hit that like button as well, that would be great too, as it lets me know whether you like the content I'm providing or not. Weeks earlier, I remember my brother Bill had come home bleeding after having been beaten up by some of the local teens. He stood out because he had a London accent in a town full of Somerset accents and was always well dressed. If you like, he was a minority. So even at my tender age, I knew the consequences of fighting. Before I tell you what happened next, if you're visiting for the first time, or you haven't yet, it would be great if you could subscribe. It will keep encouraging me to tell you more of my stories and share anything else I find interesting with you. Anyway, Dad made me go back. He followed a little way behind to make sure I didn't get a good idea as the boy was much bigger than me. He'd have probably been eight or nine at the time. I went back down the beach, scared as anything I might add, and went up to the boy and told him I wanted my bucket and spade back. He looked at me, told me I couldn't have them. Although scared, I ran at him and hit him. The punch knocked him over, I don't think it really expected it, and we started grappling on the sand, and he started to hurt me again. After what seemed like an age, my dad separated us, and we came away with the bucket and spade. Since that day, I've never liked fighting, but always stood my ground, never backed down, and fought when I've had to. And as a showman's son who went to a boarding school, I had to fight a lot. I was called a smelly jippo and a thieving pikey, and other less than savoury names. In fact, any derogatory term that could be used was. The fact is it toughened me up and made me stronger, made me more independent if you like. I knew I had to stick up for myself. It also made me more aware. Whenever I was in a situation where I thought a fight was going to happen, I always looked around me and surveyed the area. I checked out who the people that were causing the trouble were and decided who I was going to hit if it kicked off and how I was gonna get out of the situation unscathed. In today's environment, with knife crime as it is, I wonder if I'd still be here at all to tell the tale. My dad's words, all those years ago and the things he taught me along the way have made me the man that I am. I'd like to think that I've always stood up for myself and not backed down and I'm not talking just about fighting. I've never gone looking to cause trouble and if possible I'd rather not argue as well but I will not be put down. So those things my dad said to me have stayed with me to this day. He was a wise man my dad. That statement he told me all those years ago stood me in good stead. Mind you, I've never understood what makes people bully or why they have to make other people feel inferior either. Don't suppose I ever will. And if you click up there, I'll tell you a story of loss, an old car and a road to recovery.